and welcome to my YouTube channel. So this morning we've had heavy rain and really high winds overnight and the weather's not particularly great. So what I thought I'd do is just drive round the Trossachs in central Scotland. And the rain has just got heavier and heavier so I'm thinking there's probably if there's not going to be any breaks in the rain, this could potentially be a, a kind of snap from the van video where I drive around, I see some shots, if it's safe to park, I'll park up and I'll try and take shots from inside the van. Um, I'm going to head to a forest drive and see if I can get any success in there. But failing that, what I'll do is, as I'm driving along, and I see some compositions. If I do take snaps for the van, then I'll share them with you. So hopefully we can make a video this morning. Hopefully we don't need to call it snap from the van. Um, but let's see. Join me this morning and let's see where the journey takes us. pulled into the side of the road and the rain stopped for a wee minute I'm just turning around to see if you can see what I can see so there's a little loch down here I can't remember the name so what I'll do is I'll put it up on the screen as we're talking but there's some really nice mist above the trees in the distance so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk down to the edge of the loch I've not got any filters on and we'll just experiment because I have been taking photographs as I've been driving along the road. I've been pulling in on laybys and just taking shots out the window because it's been raining. Um, what I'll do is I'll turn around so you can see where I am. So I'm in the Achre Three Forests Drive. And what I'm doing is I'm walking down to a small picnic area. What I'm really looking for is right behind me at the end of the loch there. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. There's a lot of mist coming up behind the trees. So I want to see if I can get some of those shots. It's actually really peaceful here and nice and quiet. Um, probably not a lot of people venturing out because of all the heavy rain and I noticed all the streams and the burns at the side of the road were all really swollen. So my composition here is I'm trying to get a photograph of the loch. I've got a little tree here on my right hand side. So I'm, I've got F11 so that I've got the detail of the tree and then that carries my detail right through to the background. Because I've not got any filters on because, to be fair, I just jumped out the van and I didn't, I didn't want to carry too much down here. It's actually quite mild this morning. Um, so I'm going to use exposure compensation and I'll bracket my shots and then I'll merge them later on. So I've got a, I've got a shot of the loch with the tree. Now what I want to do is focus in on the trees with the mist and I'm going to zoom right in. I'll have to refocus. I'll refocus in on those trees. I'm just checking how that's turned out. Oh yeah, that's nice because I really want to capture the mist. Now across the other side of the loch there's a whole number of different trees but the trees the bottom half of the trees have got no leaves, but the top half have. And it's like little sparkles just popping up everywhere and again. And I think the sun's trying to break through the clouds. But I'm going to take one more shot because the sun's just lit up the bottom of the loch. And 
there's a clump of trees, a cluster of trees up there that I can crop out later on. But what I'll do is I'll focus in on those trees. I'll take my shot, I've still got the bracket exposures turned on. And I'll just double check and then what I can do is I can crop that in later on. And that'll be nice with the mist. So the other thing I've noticed now is there's a tree sticking up from the other trees at the end of the loch. But there's a couple of nice pine trees that have got greens and yellows on them. So what I'll do is I'll turn the camera around and we'll, use, we'll see if we can get a composition here. There's a bush in front of me that might get in the way, but let's see what we can do. Okay, so I've set up this composition here beside the water. Um, I'm just, and what I wanted was the pines at the bottom that are starting to change colour. I want the tree in the far right that's sticking right out because from a composition point of view, it's like a triangle. They're both pointing towards each other. And then you've got the kind of horizontal horizon of the loch. So I'm just going to take my shot. I've set up the composition. I'm taking my, my uh, exposure compensation shots. I'm just going to double check. Yeah, that could be, that could be real nice. So the thing about this morning is because the sky is all cloudy, there's actually no detail in the sky because it is absolutely pure white. Um, so even when I do the exposure compensation, I'm not going to get any detail in the clouds because there aren't any. And as I'm looking around, I've just spotted a tree that seems to be falling out the side of the loch. So if there's kind of separation there between the tree and the other trees behind it where I could try and get it, some sky behind it, that might be quite a nice shot. I need to watch where I'm walking because there's bogs and water everywhere. And then I've just noticed over there at the side of the road, there's like small toadstools um, growing beside a tree that look completely different shape. But what we'll do is I'll walk up and have a look. Um, and if I can, I'll take some shots. If not, then we'll just move on. Okay, so I mentioned earlier that tree. I'm going to give it a try. <clears throat> and see what kind of image might come out of it. I've got it in such a way that I've got the tree sticking out over the loch. I'm starting to lose light because it's starting to get really dark. So the rain could probably come at any time. I've still got that tree that's sticking out of the forest on the right hand side. I've set up my focus on the tree. I've set up a exposure compensation. Yeah, it's, it's going to be quite tricky because I'd need to be in the water, but that water's black, so it's really deep at the edge. So there's no, uh, there's no way I'm going to get in. Um, I'll try it, and I'll publish the image, and we'll see how it goes. There's some ferns behind the camera that are all different colours that could make a nice composition as well. And uh, I'll go back and I'll have a look at those um, toadstools and see if they're worth an image. Well, I came to take the photos of the toadstools, but the toadstools are kind of destroyed, they've been eaten, so they're not very picturesque. But while I've been standing here, I've actually seen a composition <laughs> that's framed by these two trees of the trees in the far side of the loch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus in on those trees. I'll take a shot and see how that works. I've got a single shot, so what I've done is I've actually framed the composition so that I've got the bed of the forest and I've got the roots of the two trees at the bottom and that's channel channeling us right through to the woods in the background and I've got some leaves hanging for the top of the trees that are actually shown as a canopy, so I've got quite a nice frame around the trees on the other side of the loch. Yep, that's nice. I got a wee bit of highlight on the water, but I can fix that with the underexposed image. So, again, I'm standing here. I was looking over there, and then that tree that I was using to stand behind to take a photo of the tree that was hanging over the loch, there's a little flood, so there's water working its way down towards the loch. So what I'll do is I'll stand here where this camera is, and I'll see if I can use that as a shot 
and try and get that single tree in frame with the water in the foreground and we'll see how that image comes out. So this is Loch Drunkie <clears throat> and where I'm standing this is way below the water line and I've never ever seen the Drunkie as low as this. I'll just walk around so you can see and normally where I'm standing it's usually so the water line is normally here and I'm standing a good probably 50 feet from the edge so yeah however it's actually going to help because there's a really nice composition so over here you've got a tree this the side of the loch swirling round you've got a tree line and you've got some nice reflections so I'm going to see if that'll make a nice composition so I'm just leveling up my tripod I am um, just going to see what I can see <laughs> Oh dear. And I've got a nice curve to the side of the loch. I'm just going to zoom in, see if I can get that in focus. Yep. I'll take my shot. So I've got a single shot, so I'm going to do a quick exposure compensation. Oh yeah, and that's a really nice image. Okay, so I'm now at the bottom of Loch Achray and what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish my video here because I'm going to come back another time and spend more time at each of the sides of the lochs it's just because I've run out of time um, the sun has just lit up on the right hand side beside me here so what I'll do is I'll just quickly set up a composition and I've lost the sun so what I'll do is I'll go back to my original plan and I will shoot up towards the top of the loch. There's a couple of trees in front of me that I want to get into focus. Here we go. Oh, it's a wee bit windy, so the trees that I'm photographing will probably be moving. Um, right. So what I'll do then is I'll swing round because I'll zoom into the cluster of trees across the road 
I've got nice framing because all this kind of moss and brush in front of me is kind of giving me a kind of feeling of depth as I shoot towards those faraway trees. And there's a car just going up now. I'll probably need to take a second shot so we don't have the car in frame. Yep, let's try that again. So there's a nice tree here in front of me. So what I'll do is I'll take a, I'll zoom in on that tree and I will have it to the right hand side of my frame. I'm just going to focus in on the tree. There, I've got F8, I've got ISO 200 and I've got 125th of a second. I'm just double checking, that looks quite nice. Now the sun's coming out again, so what I'll do is I'll wait a couple of minutes and see if the sun starts to light up the mountain. So that mountain straight in front of us is called Ben Venue. And the previous week I was at Loch Acre, you saw Ben Ann. So Ben Ann's up on the far right hand side. So I'm just going to take this shot because the end of the loch's getting lit up a bit by the sun. And I can see the sun creeping round the top of Ben Venue at the moment. The, there's a cluster of trees all lit up on the far right. Oh, here comes the sun. Right, so what I might do is up my f-stop to f11. I'll just double check where I'm focusing. So there's a small cluster of trees over on the right hand side that have been lit up by the sun. So there's a good chance we'll be able to capture that. I was kind of hoping the sun would kind of give us a sweeping lighting effect at the bottom of the mountain there. Okay, so I think I'll finish the video here. Hopefully I can make a video out of it. It's been a wee bit different today where I've started and I've stopped. I've shot from the side of the van, so there's not been a lot of footage that I've been taking. But what I'll do is I'll share all the images with you. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do because you know it's free. And if you press the bell notification, that'll let you know the next time I post a video. So thank you, and here's to the next video.